Guadeloupe, Guadeloupe, Antillean Creole, Guadeloupe, is an insular region of France located in the Leeward Islands, part of the Lesser Antilles in the Caribbean. Administratively, it is an overseas region consisting of a single overseas department. With a land area of and an estimated population of 400,132 as of January 2015, it is the largest and most populous European Union territory in North America. Guadeloupe's two main islands are Bastère to the west and Grand Terre to the east, which are separated by a narrow strait that is crossed with bridges. They are often referred to as a single island. The department also includes the dependencies of Guadeloupe, which include the smaller islands of Marie Galon Tend La Desirade, and the Ile des Sands. Guadeloupe, like the other overseas departments, is an integral part of France. As a constituent territory of the European Union and the Eurozone, the euro is its official currency and any European Union citizen is free to settle and work there indefinitely. As an overseas department, however, it is not part of the Schengen area. The prefecture, regional capital, of Guadeloupe is the city of Bastère, which lies on the island of the same name. The official language is French, but Antillean Creole is spoken virtually by the entire population except recent arrivals from metropolitan France. The island is called Guadada by the locals. Christopher Columbus named the island Santa Maria de Guadalupe in 1493 after the Virgin Mary, venerated in the Spanish town of Guadalupe, in Extremadura. Upon becoming a French colony, the Spanish name was retained though altered to French orthography and phonology. The island was called Caracara, or the Island of Beautiful Waters, by the Arawak people, who settled on there in 380-C.E. During the 8th century, the Caribs inhabited the island. During his second trip to the Americas, in November 1493, Christopher Columbus landed on Guadeloupe, while seeking fresh water. He called it Santa Maria de Guadalupe de Extremadura, after the image of the Virgin Mary venerated at the Spanish monastery of the Luergas, in Guadalupe, Extremadura. The expedition set ashore just south of Cape Stair, but left no settlers behind. Columbus is credited with discovering the pineapple on the island of Guadalupe in 1493. Although the fruit had long been grown in South America. He called it Pina de Indias, which can be correctly translated as Pine Cone of the Indies. During the 17th century, the Caribs fought against the Spanish settlers and repelled them. After successful settlement on the island of St. Christophe, St. Kitts, the French Company of the American Islands delegated Charles Leonardo Lolive and Jean Duplessis d'Assonville to colonize one or any of the region's islands, Guadeloupe, Martinique, or Dominica. Due to Martinique's inhospitable nature, the duo resolved to settle in Guadeloupe in 1635, took possession of the island, and wiped out many of the Carib Amerindians. It was annexed to the Kingdom of France in 1674. Over the next century, the British seized the island several times. The economy benefited from the lucrative sugar trade, which commenced during the closing decades of the 17th century. Guadeloupe produced more sugar than all the British islands combined, worth about six million pounds a year. The British captured Guadeloupe in 1759. The British government decided that Canada was strategically more important and kept Canada while returning Guadeloupe to France in the Treaty of Paris, 1763, that ended the Seven Years' War. In 1790, following the outbreak of the French Revolution, the monarchists of Guadeloupe refused to obey the new laws of equal rights for the free people off color and attempted to declare independence. The ensuing conflict with the Republicans, who were faithful to revolutionary France, caused a fire to break out in Point a Petri that devastated a third of the town. The monarchists ultimately overcame the Republicans and declared independence in 1791. The monarchists then refused to receive the new governor that Paris had appointed in 1792. In 1793, a slave rebellion broke out, which made the upper classes turn to the British and ask them to occupy the island. In an effort to take advantage of the chaos ensuing from the French Revolution, Britain seized Guadeloupe in 1794, holding control from 21 April until December 1794, when Republican Governor Victor Hughes obliged the British general to surrender. Hughes succeeded in freeing the slaves, who then turned on the slave owners who controlled the sugar plantations. In 1802, Napoleon Bonaparte issued the law of May 20, 1802. It restored slavery to all colonies the British had captured during the French Revolutionary Wars, but did not apply to certain French overseas possessions, such as Guadeloupe, Guyane, and Saint-Domingue. 
Napoleon sent an expeditionary force to recapture Eth Island from the rebellious slaves. Louis del Grey and a group of revolutionary soldiers killed themselves on the slopes of the Matuba volcano when it became obvious that the invading troops would take control of the island. The occupation force killed approximately 10,000 Guadalupeans. On February 4, 1810 the British once again seized the island and continued to occupy it until 1816. By the Anglo-Swedish alliance of March 3, 1813, Britain ceded it to Sweden for a brief period of 15 months. During this time, the British administration remained in place and British governors continued to govern the island. In the Treaty of Paris of 1814, Sweden ceded Guadeloupe once more to France. An ensuing settlement between Sweden and the British gave rise to the Guadeloupe Fund. The Treaty of Vienna in 1815 definitively acknowledged French control of Guadeloupe. An earthquake in 1843 caused the La Silfer volcano to erupt and killed over 5,000 people. Slavery was finally abolished on the island, and in all French possessions, on May 28, 1848 at the initiative of Victor Schulcher. Guadeloupe lost 12,000 of its 150,000 residents in the cholera epidemic of 1865-66. The colonial history of Guadeloupe has been addressed in research publications. In 1925, after the trial of Henry Sidambaram, Justice of the Peace and Defender of the Cause of Indian Workers, Raymond Poincaré decided to grant French nationality and the right to vote to Indian citizens. In 1946, the colony of Guadeloupe became an overseas department of France. Then in 1974, it became an administrative center. Its deputies sit in the French National Assembly in Paris. In 1967, rallies became riots, and repression backed by the prefect Pierre Bullet caused dozens of deaths. The Guadeloupe Conference, Persian, was a meeting held by four Western powers the United States, the United Kingdom. France and West Germany and Guadeloupe Island from 4 to January 7, 1979. Discussions focused on various world issues, especially the Middle East and the Iranian political crisis. In 2007 the island communes of San Martin and Saint Barthélemy were officially detached from Guadeloupe and became two separate French overseas collectivities with their own local administration. Their combined population was 35,930 and their combined land area was as of the 1999 census. In January 2009, an umbrella group of approximately 50 labor union and other associations, known in the local Antillian Creole as the Leonage Cote Poafidesi and LKP, led by Alido Moda, called for a 200 euros, 260 US dollars, monthly pay increase for the island's low-income workers. The protesters have proposed that authorities lower business taxes as a top-up to company finances to pay for the 200 euros pay raises. Employers and business leaders in Guadeloupe have said that they cannot afford the salary increase. The strike lasted 44 days, ending with an accord reached on March 5, 2009. Tourism suffered greatly during this time and affected the 2010 tourist season as well. The 2009 French Caribbean general strikes exposed deep ethnic, racial, and class tensions and disparities within Guadeloupe. Guadeloupe is an archipelago of more than 12 islands, as well as islets and rocks situated where the northeastern Caribbean Sea meets the western Atlantic Ocean. It is in the Leeward Islands, in the northern part of the Lesser Antilles, an island dark, partly a volcanic arc. Most of the inhabitants live on a pair of islands, Bustair Island and Grand Terre, which form a butterfly view from above, the two wings of which are separated by a narrow sea channel, the Saley River. More than half of Guadeloupe's land surface is on Bastère. The adjacent French islands of La Desirade, La Sainte, and Marie Galante are under jurisdiction of Guadeloupe. Western Bastère has a rough volcanic relief while eastern Grand Terre features rolling hills and flat plains. La Grande Soufrière is the highest mountain peak in the Lesser Antilles, with an elevation of Further to the north, Saint Barthélemy and the northern French part of Saint Martin were previously under the jurisdiction of Guadeloupe but on 7 December 2003, both of these areas voted to become overseas territorial collectivities separate from Guadeloupe, a decision that took effect on February 22, 2007. The Lesser Antilles are at the outer edge of the Caribbean plate. Many of the islands were formed as a result of the subduction of oceanic crust of the Atlantic plate under the Caribbean plate in the Lesser Antilles subduction zone. This process is ongoing and is responsible for volcanic and earthquake activity in their region. There is an active volcano in Guadeloupe called La Silfraire, located in the south of Bastère. 
La Sulfre is actually a part of a volcanic complex that is composed of the Carmichael volcanoes, the Nezcasse, the Echelle, the Cistern and the Madeleine. It is one of the nine active volcanoes of the Lesser Antilles. Its last eruption was in 1976. This eruption led to the evacuation of the southern part of Bustair. 73,600 people were displaced over a course of three and a half months following the eruption. The islands are part of the Leeward Islands so called because they are downwind of the prevailing trade winds, which blow out of the northeast. This was significant in the days of sailing ships. Notable among storms to make landfall on the islands are Hurricane Cleo in 1966, Hurricane Hugo in 1989, and Hurricane Maria in 2017. Guadeloupe has a tropical climate tempered by maritime influences and the trade winds. We distinguish two seasons in Guadeloupe and nearby islands. With fertile volcanic soils, heavy rainfall, high temperatures and plenty of rainfall, vegetation on Bastère is lush. Most of the island's forest is on Bastère. Guadeloupe recorded a population of 402,119 in the 2013 census. The population of Guadeloupe is mainly of African or mixed descent of Europeans, Indians, Tamil, Telugu, and other South Indians, Lebanese, Syrians, Chinese, and Carib Amerindians, remnants of the original pre-European population. The archipelago of Ile de Sainte is mostly populated by the descendants of colonists from Brittany and Normandy. The Guadeloupean population is largely Roman Catholic, speaking both French and a Creole, and Tilian Creole. The population of Guadeloupe has been stable recently, with a net increase of only 335 people between the 2008 and 2013 censuses. In 2012 the average population density in Guadeloupe was 247.7 inhabitants for every square kilometer, which is very high in comparison to the whole France apostrophe S116.5 inhabitants for every square kilometer. One third of the land is devoted to agriculture and all mountains are uninhabitable. This lack of space and shelter makes the population density even higher. Because Guadeloupe is a wealthy country in comparison to the surrounding Caribbean islands, immigration is popular. People immigrate to Guadeloupe because of its stronger political stability and greater agricultural job opportunities. However, just because foreigners immigrate to Guadeloupe for its opportunities does not mean the country is economically stable. Rather, it is stable in comparison to the surrounding regions slash islands. Over 80% of the population are Roman Catholic. Guadeloupe is in the Diocese of Bastère, at Point Apitre. Evangelical Protestants concentrated in newly arriving denominations from the United States are also present in Guadeloupe. In 2011, life expectancy at birth was recorded at 77.0 years for males and 83.5 for females. Medical centers in Guadeloupe include a University Hospital Center, CHU, in Point Apitre, a Regional Hospital Center, CHR, in Bastère, four hospitals located in Cape Stirbello, Pointe Noire, Bouillant, and Saint Claude. The Institut Pasteur de la Guadeloupe, which is located in Point Apitre and is responsible for researching environmental hygiene, vaccinations, and the spread of tuberculosis and mycobacteria. Guadeloupe sends four deputies to the French National Assembly and three senators to the French Senate. Guadeloupe is divided into two arrondissements, Bastère and pointe aux 21 cantons and 32 communes. Formerly called the Regional Council of Guadeloupe, following the local elections of March 2015 the administering assembly now bears the name of the Departmental Council of Guadeloupe. In 2006, the GDP per capita of Guadeloupe at market exchange rates, not at PPP was 17,338 euros, 21,780 US dollars. The economy of Guadeloupe depends on tourism, agriculture, light industry and services. It is dependent upon mainland France for large subsidies and imports. Unemployment is especially high among the youth. Tourism is a key industry, with 83.3% of tourists visiting from metropolitan France, 10.8% coming from the rest of Europe. 3.4% coming from the United States, 1.5% coming from Canada, 0.4% coming from South America, and 0.6% coming from the rest of the world. An increasingly large number of cruise ships visit Guadeloupe, the cruise terminal of which is in Point of Petri. The traditional sugarcane crop is slowly being replaced by other crops, such as bananas, which now supply about 50% of export earnings, eggplant, guinep, noni, sapatilla 
girl mon squash, yam, gourd, plantain, Christophine, cocoa, jackfruit, pomegranate, and many varieties of flowers. Other vegetables and root crops are cultivated for local consumption, although Guadeloupe is dependent upon imported food, mainly from rest of France. Light industry features sugar and rum, solar energy, and many industrial products. Most manufactured goods and fuel are imported. As it is a region of France, Guadeloupe's official language is French, which is spoken by nearly all of the population. In addition, most of the population can also speak Guadeloupian Creole, GC, a variety of Antillean Creole. Throughout the island's colonial history, GC was the language of local community, of resistance to European domination, of ethno racial identity. Consequently, when from the early 1970s to the mid 1980s, Guadeloupe saw the rise and fall of an at times violent movement for greater political independence from France, GC was claimed as key to local cultural pride and unity. In the 1990s, in the wake of the independence movement's demise, GC retained its destigmatized status as a symbol of local culture, albeit without de jure support from the state and without de facto being practiced with equal competence in all strata and age groups of society. The third millennium, however, brought greater acceptance of GC on the part of France, such that it was introduced as an elective in public schools. Today, the question is to whether French and GC are stable in Guadeloupe, i.e., whether both languages are practiced widely and competently throughout society, remains a subject of active research. Guadeloupe's culture is probably best known for the islanders' literary achievements, particularly the poetry of Saint John Peirce, the pseudonym used by Alexis Leger. Peirce won the 1960 Nobel Prize in Literature for the soaring flight and the evocative images of his poetry, which, in a visionary fashion, reflects the conditions of our time. Guadeloupe has always had a rich literary output, continued today by many living writers, poets, novelists, essayists and journalists, among them Madame Marie Condé and Simone Schwartzbart. French writer Giselle Pinot, who currently lives in Marie Galante, has Guadeloupean parentage. Music and dance are also very popular, and the widely accepted interaction of African, French and Indian cultures has given birth to some original new forms specific to the archipelago. Since the 1970s, Guadeloupian music increasingly claimed the local language, Guadeloupian Creole as the preferred language of popular music. Islanders enjoy many local dance styles including zouk, zouk love, compa, as well as the modern international dances such as hip-hop, etc. One of its most famous artists was Henri Debs, 1932-2013, a musician and producer of French, origin of Lebanese parents, who made many Caribbean rhythms like zouk and belly had heard throughout the Antilles, France, North America, and Latin America. Traditional Guadeloupian music includes Beguine, Cadence, Cadence Lipso, Zouk, and Guaca. Popular music artists and bands such as Experience 7, Frankie Vincent, Kasav, which included Patrick S. T. Eloy, and Gilles Floro embodied the traditional music style of the island and the new generation of music, while some other musical artists, like Tom Fraker, who grew up in Guadeloupe, perform colorful reggae music that defines the Guadeloupe island as paradise like. Many international festivals take place in Guadeloupe, like the Creole Blues Festival, hosted in Marie Galante. All the Euro-French forms of art are also ubiquitous. The melting pot is emphasized by other communities, from Brazil, Dominican Republic, Haiti, India, Lebanon, Syria, who live on the island and share their cultures. Another element of Guadeloupian culture is its dress. A few women, particularly of the older generation, wear a unique style of traditional dress, with many layers of colorful fabric, now only worn on special occasions. On festive occasions they also wore a madras, originally a kerchief from South India, headscarf tied in many different symbolic ways, each with a different name. The headdress could be tied in the bat style, or the firefighter style, as well as the Guadalupian woman. Jewelry, mainly gold, is also important in the Guadalupian lady's dress, a product of European, African and Indian inspiration. Guadeloupe was the most violent overseas French department in 2016. The high level of unemployment caused violence and crime to rise especially in 2009 and 2010, the years following a great worldwide recession. Since the population is so small, the murder rate is slightly more than that of Paris, but with a murder rate of 8.2 per 100,000, Guadeloupe is one of the safest islands in the Caribbean.
Most of this violence is caused by the drug trade or domestic disputes, and the residents of Guadalupe describe the island as a place with not a lot of everyday crime. Football, soccer, is popular in Guadalupe, and several notable footballers are of Guadalupean origin. The national football team experienced success in 2007, advancing all the way to the 2007 CONCACAF Gold Cup semifinals, where they were defeated 1-0 by CONCACAF Powerhouse Mexico. Basketball is also popular. Best known players are the NBA players Mikhail Pietras, Johan Petro, Rodrigue Bobois, and Mikhail Jelabale, now playing in Russia, who were born on the island. Utah Jazz star center Rudy Gobert is also of half Guadalupean descent. Also known as trainer and former player Paul Chonkin, after whom the basketball Shtadion in Point A Petrie is named. Many fine track and field athletes, such as Marie Jose Perec, Patricia Gerard Leno, Christine Aaron, and Willem Blossian, are also Guadalupe natives. Triple Olympic champion Marie Jose Perec, fourth fastest runner Christine Aaron, and fencing champion Laura Flessel were all born and raised in Guadalupe. Even though Guadalupe is part of France, it has its own sports teams. Rugby union is a small but rapidly growing sport in Guadalupe. France International and RC Toulon Centre Mot U Basterode, cousin of footballer William Gallas, was born in Guadalupe. The island is also internationally best known for hosting the Carrage Race, Jet Ski World Championship since 1998. This nine stage, four day event attracts competitors from around the world, mostly Caribbeans, Americans, and Europeans. The Carrage generally made up of seven races around the island, has an established reputation as one of the most difficult championships in which to compete. The Route du Rhum is one of the most prominent nautical French sporting events, occurring every four years. Bodybuilder Serge Nubret was born in Anse Bertrand, Grand Terre, representing the French state in various bodybuilding competitions throughout the 1960s and 1970s including the IFBB's Mr. Olympia contest taking third place every year from 1972 to 1974, and second place in 1975. Bodybuilder Marie Laure Mahabir also hails from Guadalupe. Guadalupe also has some less conventional sporting groups and associations, which include the Skywalkers Parkour Team and Rollers Forward, both based in St. Anne. The country has also a passion for cycling. It hosted the French Cycling Championships in 2009 and continues to host the Tour de Guadalupe every year. Guadalupe also continues to host the Orange Open Guadalupe Tennis Tournament, since 2011, and the Tour of Guadalupe Sailing, which was founded in 1981. On September 9, 2013 the county government voted in favor of constructing a tramway in Point A Petrie. The first phase will link northern Abims to downtown Point A Petrie by 2019. The second phase, scheduled for completion in 2023, will extend the line to serve the university. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.